Uh, hey everyone, so it's been quite a while since my last video. Uh, I was pretty caught up in work and school, so I haven't had much of a chance to post anything. Um, it's been around a year since the start of my channel, and since I have finally some free time on my hands, uh, I thought that I'd give everyone an update of what I've been up to and what I'll be doing in the future. So I'll soon be done with school, and this is actually my last semester of college right now. Um, I'll be graduating this December, and all in all, college took me 2.5 years to complete, which is pretty fast. Um, a lot of people have been asking me how I was able to graduate so fast. Uh, so for anyone that's been wondering, here is my schedule of courses across these 2.5 years. Um, so before college, um, in high school, I took these APs and I was able to transfer all of them. And I also took uh, a few community college courses as well. So these were some math courses, uh, a few CS courses, and a gen ed course. Luckily, since Northeastern is very um, generous with their transfer credit, I was able to transfer all of them. And um, in my freshman year, I started with 50 credits out of my 133 total credits needed to graduate. Um, then in my first year, um, for my first semester, I actually studied abroad in London. And during this time, I took a discrete math course, a fundamental CS course, and then two gen ed courses. Following that, I went back to Boston the next semester, and that's when I did a NASA part-time internship. And during this time, I also took more uh, CS courses and math courses. Out of these courses, my favorite one was the algorithms and data course. Following that was my summer internship at Northrop Grumman. And during this time, I also wanted to get rid of some gen ed, so I took some of those and also took some really hard CS courses, such as theory of computation, just to get it over with. Uh, following that, I did my Amazon internship for my second year for a semester in the fall. And since this was in person, I did not go to school. Uh, following that, I went back to school the next semester. And for this part, I took um, mostly high level courses for my concentration, which is artificial intelligence, as well as upper div CS courses um, that were required for a CS degree. Out of all these courses, my favorite one was the ML course. Then uh, was my recent summer Tesla internship. Um, and now I'm currently at my third year for a semester and these are the current courses I'm taking. So my biggest piece of advice for people who want to graduate fast or earlier is to first determine what concentration you are if you have that in your school. And once you determine that, you can just follow the exact courses that you need to graduate. I wouldn't take unnecessary courses unless you really want to. And also something that's really helpful is to take hard courses or gen eds that you don't really care about during the summer, if it's virtual or online, uh, just to get them over with and help you graduate faster. So a lot of people have been messaging me on LinkedIn asking about my various internship experiences and how they differed with one another. So I wanted to quickly include some of my thoughts here. Um, for NASA, which was my first internship, it was definitely the least structured one. Um, the tasks were, were very open-ended. There were no hard requirements on goals or deliverables I had to submit. So overall, it was pretty relaxed and the work was pretty interesting. So it was definitely a good experience. Following that was Northrop Grumman. And this was, in my opinion, the least interesting internship since I was mostly working on fixing bugs in a very legacy C++ code base. Um, it was also a virtual internship, so I couldn't go to office and I also did not get a security clearance for the work, so I couldn't do more interesting tasks. However, the people there were very nice and also fun to talk with. So overall, I'm still glad to have done that internship. Uh, then was Amazon. In my opinion, Amazon's very structured and corporate in a sense. Uh, basically, all aspects of your internship are planned in advance, and you'll likely be having uh, the same experience as all the other Amazon interns. Uh, the project I worked on was pretty interesting. I definitely learned a lot about software engineering principles and development workflows, but in terms of te technical knowledge, I don't think I gained too much out of it. Um, but this was also my first time being able to go to office, which I really liked, and the campus was cool and the facilities were really good. Um, then was Tesla, which was this summer for me. Um, I definitely learned the most out of this one, uh, and it's definitely my favorite one. Um, overall, I think I really liked the all-pilot organization culture. Um, 
I think the first day my manager told me that I had to submit a CR by the end of the day as part of all pilot tradition, which was pretty funny. And everyone there is really, really smart. I was able to work on cool projects and bring impact. And it was definitely a lot more hands-on on DevOps related stuff. And there was also like free snacks, um, subsidized dinners. So definitely a really fun experience. Um, so overall, I think I rank my internships in this order from favorite, most favorite to least favorite. It would be Tesla, Amazon, NASA, then Northrop. So I was able to receive return offers from all the companies I interned at, um, but as you may be able to tell from the title, I'll be returning to Tesla for full-time work next year. Uh, my start date will be February of 2024, and that means I'll have a two-month break between the end of school and the start of full-time work. I'm honestly pretty excited to return to Tesla. All the projects there are really cool, and I definitely feel like I can learn a lot more from working with the people there as well. So that's probably all from me today. Um, if anyone has questions regarding uh, school or internships, feel free to connect and ask me on LinkedIn. Uh, thanks for watching.